Hi, Morning, how are you? Good, how are you? Good. I'll get a bacon farmer's wrap, please. With a chai latte. Chai latte? With two, two sugars. Chai tea latte. Medium chai? Yeah, with two sugar, please. Bacon farmer's wrap and one medium chai tea latte, right? Yeah, with two sugars, please. Sorry? With two sugars, please. One cream, two sugars? Uh, just two sugars. Just two sugars? Yes, please. What's the other one? Uh, bacon farmer's wrap, please. You said sausage farmer's wrap? Bacon farmer's wrap, please. Bacon farmer's wrap, okay. Yes, 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 thank you. Thanks. Okay. Thank you. You too. I swear these things have gotten smaller. <laughs> All right, you guys, what is happening? Welcome back to Monster Angling. We're out here today doing some perch fishing, but not just going for any perch. We are going for a giant, like, giant. A, like a 15 incher, like a 15 and a half, 16. They are in this place. I know it because people have caught them here before. I was out here a week ago, tried to film a video, got one, and then my camera card got screwed up. And for some reason it didn't save. So we're back out here again, um, three hours away from home here, and we're trying to catch some big ones today. So enough talking, I'm out here with Easton. What's, what do you know? All I know is that I'm gonna catch a bigger fish than Paul. Yeah, he says that a lot. But, you know, it'd be nice for him to get like a 12. That'd be a big fish for him, but. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> All right, enough rambling. Let's get this uh, car unpacked here and let's get on the ice and let's get it done. My sled is so organized right now. This is gonna be interesting. Oh, sweet jambalaya. Freaking break all my rods here, boys. Oh, come on. Oh, I don't like that. Ah, I don't like that. Okay, we made it. As you can see, I treat my equipment very well. Hope you guys are all having an amazing day today. I know I am. Get your sonar out. I'll drill some holes. Mm -hmm. That way it's just done and out of the way and then we can get jigging on the old Garmin. I'm running just a treble hook with a split shot on my drench from frostbite. Jacker is set. We're gonna leave the minnows right here on the ice. So when we rebate they're just that much closer. Easton's got a big in here, boys. It's big enough. Three can race. Yeah. Put on my bump board over here. It's probably 12. First fish of the day. Nice one. Probably 12 inches. There we go. Fish on us here. Got him. A big solo mark. Oh, it's a walleye. Of course. That explains why he was solo. We don't need the big count for that one. Easton's on a tear over here, boys. Oh. Little whale eye. So he said there's walleyes in here too. Well, there he is. Little tiny walleye. Let's get back down there. Me too. It's 
not rocket. Operation, get this fish in without losing my hook. It's like the biggest pike I've caught here. Isn't that sad? There he is. It's a little, little snot rocket here. We're not gonna waste any time with him. So we got perch to catch. Come on. Come on. You just hit it. Oh no! There's another one coming. Go. There's a jumbo. Oh yeah, boys. Big perch. Oh yeah. The perch moved back in. That's hilarious. So that big pike just swam through, and all these perch came in as soon as he was gone. I know. I brought the biggest freaking bump board I could have brought. And it'll have to work. He is 12. I think. Oh, there's 12 and a quarter. There he is. First perch of the day here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. 12 and a quarter. Beautiful fish. Got a giant perch here. Oh yeah. It's a big one. That's a tank. Tank perch here. There he is. That is a horse. He's not super long when he's fat. 13, 13 and a half. There he is. Big old perch here. There he goes. Beautiful fish. Got a big perch. Oh shoot, it's a pike. <laughs> the way it was just pulling down there, I swore it was a big perch, but nope, it's a little jackfish. Go. I don't want to sound disappointed because the fish is a fish, but come on. I thought that was our 15 incher right there. Big perch down there right now, boys and girls. On. Got some competition here. Oh yeah. Yes, come on. Close the gap, close the gap, close the gap, close the gap. I'm gonna drop past him again. Pound it in the mud. Perch like eating air out of the sand or the mud. And then from there I'm gonna raise it up very slowly. Even get him chasing a little bit. Seem like they won't chase much today though. Depends on the fish though, some of them wanted to. That last bigger one, no, didn't. All right guys, I moved spots here to a little bit deeper water and there's already fish on me. It's a big fish. No. That was a big perch, dudes. Oh, son of a gun. No, 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 no. There's perch heavy in here right now, fellas. Come on. Got one. There we go, boys. Just move spots here. Not a big one, but still, it's fish. Stop. Probably about 10, 11 inch, going back. Go. See ya. I'll kind of show you guys a little bit more, the whole strategy and everything, what we're doing here in a bit, but right now we just need to get back down there while the school's here. As I say that, they all leave. 
Ooh. Gotta be a little pike. Yeah. So hard to hold on to. Came out of absolute nowhere. I just turned on the camera to tell you guys how slow the fishing was and then all of a sudden the first fish in two hours decides just randomly to come out. My play-by-play's -play been really bad today. It is currently 3.45. We're coming up on that power hour, last hour of the day. And I got my fingers crossed that the fishing picks up significantly because it's been a little bit slow today. We kind of missed the prime time this morning. Got it a little bit later than we wanted to. We kind of caught the last little bit of the perch bite. And then after that, we were still marking perch, but they weren't as hungry and the pike were coming in and scaring them off. This happened last time I was here too, where the morning was really good. And then the, eat, or the afternoon was not that awesome. And then it really picked up. So I'm hoping that it's the same today. Really hoping. But I'm just, I've been riding the same spoon all day. It's a little PK um, rattle spoon with some maggots. Perch move around a lot, and that can make them kind of hard to find sometimes. This lake we're fishing today isn't very big, and you, there's spots we could fish, but I'm very confident in the spot we're at that the fish will come eventually. We're fishing like the deepest part of the lake here. It's 16, 17 feet. I'll show you guys what I'm running here though. Just a little white PK, the red dot on there. And Easton's actually hooked up here. What is it, Easton? Is it? We need this one, we need this one. It's a jackfish. He's in a school of fish. There's my bait. <laughs> the hooks in the anyway, it's about how it's been today, guys. Lots of pike and they're all like the same size. It's kind of frustrating. But I mean, really, at the end of the day, we're catching fish. And catching fish is fun. I don't know if you can see that right there. It's a big, that's just a snake cruising along the bottom. It's not big either. I'm running a 36 inch light action Royal Flush here. with six pound test line, but Enough rambling. Let's get some big perch here, boys. One fish makes a day. Don't think so. Oh, it is a big perch, dude. It's a freaking huge perch. Come on, get up. Yes! Guys, we did it. I thought it was a pike, but I must have my game turned up really high. He looked long and skinny on the graph. We did it right there. Jumbo perch. He's all nice and flared up. We're gonna give our board a quick dunk here. He is 12 and a half, but so fat. Big breeding fish. All right, guys, we're gonna put him back here. 12 and a half. Very cool, there's more fish down there, let's do it. That's a big perch, boys. Like, not insanely fat, or not insanely long, sorry, but just so fat and so built, and it's so exciting when you catch a fish with those kind of genetics, just really big and healthy. So cool. So I'm gonna show you guys something here quickly. So, I have my live scope in forward mode right now. I was doing some scanning around, and I'll show you guys where I was fishing at the start, just to kind of give you guys an area or an idea of the area that I'm fishing today. So, there's a fish right there, actually. We want to zoom out a bit. There's a fish at 15. If you look that way, I'll turn up my game just a bit so you can see. That is where I was fishing before, earlier. There's weeds that come up right to the bottom of the ice, 120 feet that way. And that's where I started over there. Since then, I moved into this trough and it seems like they're cruising the basin, this big hole in the south side of this lake. 
but I was fishing on this ledge, catching lots of pike, and that's kind of where Easton is right now too. I think he's catching more pike because he's sitting closer to those weeds. I think those pike are cruising a little bit shallower, but I found that I moved to the basin. You can see it's a nice flat basin that there's been less pike and the perch have been rolling through a little bit more. Perch like big mud flats. Sometimes perch like to eat it out of the mud and sometimes you, if you pound it in the mud and stir it up and then lift it up, that's when they're gonna bite. They've been eating it a lot today, looking up. The bigger perch have definitely been the hungrier fish and that's showing today. Um, but that's kind of what I look for. I started on one piece of structure and now I'm fishing a big flat. Please be a big perch. It's a walleye. Oh, little bugger. Oh my goodness, it's turning into a walleye video. Goodbye. Come on. Let's go. Friggin' wall. Get out of here. Let's go. Just like that, all the perch scatter. There's way too many of these little buggers in here. Go back. Let's go. Are you kidding me? It's got it. Yeah, there's a walleye. This is getting annoying, dude. Oh. All right, guys, I think that's a wrap on the day today perch fishing wasn't crazy um there was a lot of pike in the area today and it seemed like every time the school of perch would come in the pike would just be chasing them and it really worked against us so it's okay caught some jumbos today a couple of them every perch we caught today was actually a jumbo so i mean could have been a lot worse we caught lots of fish i lost track of how many fish we caught today between the pike and the walleyes and the, the four or five perch we caught, it was, you know, still a lot of numbers. Anyway, Easton and I are gonna get cleaned up here, pack everything up, and then uh, we'll see you guys once we get back in the car. We're gonna go grab something to eat, so we'll see you guys in a bit. Well, Easton, how was the fishing today? Well, it's very slow uh, for the perch. Otherwise, it, uh, it was pretty good if you were targeting pike and walleye, but uh, what a great way to end the day. Going to the Burger King, Flame Grill since 1954. Best Whoppers in the world. Say what you want about Burger King fries. This is actually like, these are pretty good right now. Because they're actually warm. That is the lamest looking Whopper. Bro, they didn't put any of the, <laughs> they didn't put any of the toppings on it. It's just a burger.